Good morning. Look how good she looks. Look who's rolling in. Fucking Volkswagen guy. Looks so good. About to leave. Go to the Northeast Skyline meet. I said this in the last video, but it's a new one, so if you didn't see the, the last one we went to two years ago, a lot of garbage. We're hoping the cars have improved in the Northeast and we don't talk shit about so many, but we'll see. Two and a half hour ride. We gotta stop for E. Let's get it. Connor brought the uh, old S1 out. 33 got VIP parking over here. I'm like halfway out into the fucking place. Couple 34s. But I'm looking at this Evo. That Evo's sick. I know you love that. Right? Whose is that? You know, you know Dylan. Hi there. Nismo parts plug. Nismo parts plug. This thing's sick. This thing's fucked. Dandelion yellow. So good. The Regas. Is this you? I've never seen your car. Stance boy. I saw that 34. Congrats. Thank you. Bro. That's sick. Oh, I can't wait. Active red. It's a. What? Uh, July? Oh yeah. So next year. So soon. Australia, no shit. Price was good in Australia. That's where they got. Yeah, I wanna. I'm gonna ask you when we take it off yeah. camera. Off camera. This is cool. Yeah, enjoy, man. See a, a see a car with LMGT ones and RB30. Yeah, this has got to be making a lot. Oh my god, that thing's pretty dope. <laughs> what do you think it's making? It's 800. That turbo is big. Look at the fucking. What is that? Four inch piping. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> how big does it enter? Look at the, the fuel system. Jesus Christ, I bet he's gotta be making almost a Yeah, it's, it's gotta be, but it's on like some weird OG Tomei fuel rail. That's crazy. I wonder if he bought it like this. That thing is not, I wanna see how big his intercooler is. <laughs> it's probably fucking four inches thick. Yeah, with, with the pipes going into it. Yeah. That's crazy. There's a lot of skylines here. So we're here and uh, I don't want to talk too much shit because I'll get stabbed. <laughs> but there's some, some good ones and some bad ones, we'll say. Oh, I keep I used to see this car on Craigslist or Facebook. The Fender Mirror car. Those are OEM. No way. Yeah. You could. They're super rare. OEM fender mirrors. Like the whole fender mirrors. I guess the traffic's so bad, you know? You just like, you could see way. I don't know. I, you need binoculars to see that shit. <laughs> the mirrors are worth more than his wheels, that's for sure. Ganonors. <laughs> <laughs> that grill is different. We should do this to your 34. What do you think? <laughs> the bay quality at these meets is getting a little better than the last time. This one's not bad. The last time we were here, it was horrendous. Oh my god. LMGG ones monster truck and just don't do it. These wheels are sick. I don't know if I could run them though. Because you see them on shit like that too much. 34. There's five 34s here, which is pretty wild. Ooh, a Pulsar I want to look at. I like him in white. Hell yeah. Minus the wing, this thing looks sick on these wheels. Nah, the wing could stay. I like the wing. I like the, wing. I like the fucking wing. You guys, you don't get good gas mileage with that wing, okay? <laughs> you don't get good gas mileage with any of the anything. Cars. This thing's rad. Had a Skyline meet looking at glass top CRXs. Backseat. Ben, ben is so amped on the backseat for... Who knows what reason? It, it's pretty cool though. Super cool. There's a lot of interesting stuff here. A lot of stuff. There's some stuff. Where? Parked in the in with, and then that thing. What are those? What does that say? A Buick? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about this. Got this car, this 34, this 34. The music is just painful in here. I don't, I don't know why New Jersey has to do it that way. It's a shitty painted, there's a shitty painted stage over there. 
This is a weird kit. Car looked black. Bunch of 35s here. I didn't really know what to expect, but Jersey just does it the same. Every show is kind of the same. A lot of music. But the cool thing is we got Dylan's booth is pretty rad. Dylan hooks everyone up. If you're interested in any parts, it's at Nismo Parts Plug. Hit them up. I'll take it all. I'll take it all. Load it in. All right, take it. Take it. Load it in. Gonna, just take it. I like this. Yeah, no one else three. does, but I like it. So that's unfortunately the east, Northeast uh, Skyline show out. That's what everyone's car in the area looks like. We're going to throw our own Skyline meet so soon. If you're interested in coming to our Skyline meet, put it in the comments. We got to just do a big one with like approval maybe so we don't have too much riffraff. You ready? Exciting day. I get to drive to the ghetto of Hamden to meet up with our boy Sonic. He needs a ride back because he's picking up the EK. You guys, the homies came through, got him enough subs that he's buying the EK. And trust me, everyone's like, oh, he was going to buy it anyway. He literally was not going to buy it unless we hit those numbers. So now that we hit those, I've got another proposition for him. We have a Skyline in the back, and I want to do a K24 to it. I've been thinking about it. It's not set in stone. I'm going to talk to our boy Sonic, see how interested he is in being a part of it, because I think it would be a really fun build using a bunch of Fatbot parts. Fatbot came out with a new adapter to go T56. In one mile, turn right onto West Street. To K24, and I just so happen to have a transmission. So either I could do the AR5, so it would go AR5, T56, K24 adapter, or I could just go right to the TR66 they have. I think I'd rather go AR5, only because it's a smaller, lighter transmission, and I honestly think the drivetrain loss with those weak K24s, and yes, I said it, I'm talking shit about all you Honda boys, the drivetrain loss is brutal. It happened to me in the K Miata, and I don't want that to happen in a heavy skyline. So we'll talk to Sonic, see how interested he is, and see if that's a build he'd be interested in being a part of. Um, just doing a K24 manual turbo R chassis. It's been done. You got the guys over at uh, Eliminate doing it. I think a bunch of people have done 240s, but I want to do a Skyline. So we'll head over there, and we'll get his uh, reaction to the Golf R. They've been running. They have a Trackhawk. They've been running at the street races, and it gave me an idea. I'd like to bring the Golf R there and see how this does in the street races against some Honda boys, some front-wheel drive Honda boys. I think they're going to be surprised. I think I've ever rolled up in a Golf sounding like this. Hold on. Sounds pretty boring. And then I put it in sport mode, which makes it sound like this. Yeah, that's the idea. So we'll see uh, what he thinks about both ideas. And we'll give him a ride back. Have, let, him, let him go for a rip in the Golf and then get that EK out of my life. What do you think of the Golf? It's not bad. It's not bad. Not bad. It needs some. It needs some upgrades. Would I prefer an all-wheel drive Civic? Of course. That's crazy. Oh fucking! Look thing. at this AC on, CarPlay. I'll give you cruising. A Honda be like, ee, fucking vibrating. You know now that you want to buy a fucking Trackhawk. So. so I just raced his brother's Trackhawk. I lost. Um, I'm not upset. I'm gonna. We're gonna give this another chance. I'm gonna do the inlet and the intake on Monday. Get rid of the, we're on stock airbox still. I don't know what that's choking this thing out. Alex says a lot, but I try not to get my hopes up for shit like that because, you know, you can get let down pretty easily. But if the inlet and the intake do what Alex says, it'll be a lot closer race. I agree, the intake will do a big difference. Huge so. difference, yeah. At this power level, it's gotta be choking it out quite a bit. It feels like it. Yeah, like when you hit third, it just kinda, the torque just disappears. He says the hit will be a lot harder, but I think my biggest issue is spinning. Like you I'm still spinning. A lot. Yeah. I don't know. I, I gotta check my tire you pressure. You can't really drive this shit on drag either. Not gonna be that good. No, you don't think like so. Oh, because like, you'll shred them like driving right. a car. So. Right. But I don't know. This it's not a bad car. You got AC, heat, Bluetooth, navigation. Like, it's good. Seats are comfortable. So all-wheel drive Civic. Maybe race versus race. I'm taking the shit. Street. Yeah, race versus race. But street car, like daily. 
duty that you can also fuck on cars, that you can't beat this thing. The track hawk can. The track hawk can. can definitely. That's a cool daily, but what's that get for gas mileage? It sucks. What does it get, like eight? Sucks, like my brother drives it to work every day, he only drives two miles, he fills it up every three days. <laughs> so all right now, we've been racing and fucking around, I'm getting 18 miles per gallon average, I'll reset it, usually I get about 22. And I don't wanna like take gas mileage into consideration, but this is my fucking daily. I can throw my family in it and then walk like some kind of cars, you know? This is a nice fucking daily, I'm not even gonna lie. I'll drive this every day. And it's cool, cause it's all wheel drive. I can drive in the snow and the rain with no issues. Like the F80 was a great daily, but that fucking car would spin the tires at 80 miles an hour. That car was kind of junk, it spun. It spun fourth gear. It spun all the time. Yeah. And it would like pull timing and put traction control. Oh my God, it's choked. Put traction control on, hit the brakes. Does all kinds of dumb shit. This thing, it's got its quirks, but uh, well, let's be realistic here. You're not keeping this car for longer than two months. Well, I'm thinking about building something very similar, but a little different. So we'll see. How about this? If you do your mods to this and you beat the track hawk, I'll buy this car for your asking price. If you don't beat the track hawk, I'll give you half of your asking. You're price. out of your fucking mind. Why? That's half of my asking price is a stock golf car. I'd lose so much money. I'm pretty sure. That's a thirty thousand dollar race. That's a good fucking race if you ask me. If you ask okay, me okay. for 30 grand, I'd race for 30 grand. But I don't get anything if I win, I just get what I'm supposed to get. So it should be... I'll give you 10 grand more than your asking price. See, now we're talking a little. And if, and if I win, if if you win, if your brother wins, you give me 15 less than my asking price. 20. No way. Got a deal. No way. 20 grand, what you gotta think about? You, you're fucking with Alex. Like me and my brother gonna be doing rubber mods to the truck on my shop. He's probably not even gonna tune Well, it. if you do the mods, I, I don't stand a chance in hell. I'll race you with the other Golf R we'll build. No, I'll do that. No, I'll just race you with an all-wheel drive Civic at that point. No, no, we'll race you with the other Dazza Swap Golf R. I really wanna see this car cut up. Uh, <laughs> four, I'm serious, four radios. Leave the AC, leave everything in here, take out the interior, one seat. We can make some serious money in the street. It probably, yeah, I think so. Some serious money. The hell People will sleep, sleep on this because of Volkswagen. If you came to me and raised me with Volkswagen, I'd probably race you with my Type R for money. Really? For real. How do you yeah. think the Type R would do against us? You'd probably fuck my car because all-wheel drive. Right. As far as all-wheel drive versus another all-wheel drive car. I'm going to put like GTI badges on this thing so people they don't even know it's all-wheel drive. Don't be like me, you know, putting <laughs> fucking WRX shit on an ST, like a regular. Stop, stop. You did that? I did a STI shit on a fucking regular WRX. Oh, that's the opposite. <laughs> Your GTI <laughs> shit on an R. Yeah. You might just put all the Audi badges on here. Put RS3 badges on the back. No, that tells everyone's in it. The, the exhaust tips are enough of a giveaway. If anyone knows and sees those oval exhaust tips, they know. I can't believe the GPS still works in this shit. What are you? It's not the GPS. CarPlay. <laughs> factory. <laughs> Look at this factory CarPlay. Yeah, fucking everything's great in here. No check engine light. Nothing. I'm surprised the seats even work when I jumped in here. <laughs> They're Alex, all manual. Alex, also. if you're watching this, this car is fucking great. <laughs> well, we got it. We got a Honda Boys approval.
So what you just saw was uh, a new acquisition. Sight unseen, this GTR was listed for sale, Facebook Marketplace, scumbagged everyone, and I got the boys there quicker than everyone else. The thing is rough. I got the quarter panel all but falling off right here. That's all Bondo. Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, this thing is rough. So, uh, I've been buying up GTRs because we own a GTR restoration shop. People need parts. I want to be that plug, but I've been lazy about parting them out. There's a couple negatives to this one. One, it has GTST wheels, which I guess isn't entirely a negative considering people want these too, but GTR wheels are worth quite a bit more. Body's fucked on this thing, obviously. I didn't buy it for that. I didn't buy it for a clean GTR. Engine runs perfect. Has this HKS... Uh, Look at these things, they're all smashed up, but HES high mount blow off valve kit, which I love these kits. Uh, Apexi filter, some exhaust, and it's a hoopty. <laughs> but, e-spare mirrors, which I'm stoked on. Just a couple of things, missing a driver's seat. Somebody got a little crazy with the Alcantara. If you're a GTR boy and you want to buy a complete Alcantara interior, get at me. I will sell this, no questions asked, immediately. They even did the rear seat. The headliner's done in brid material. It's bad. They did a good job, I guess, except for shit like that, but it's not it's not cool. I don't like that shit. So the interior to me, unless I could sell it for a good amount, it's kind of a loss. But I buy it for things like the wing, the trunk, the bumper, the taillights, the doors, the regulators and the motors, the mirrors, the dash pieces, fenders, hood, grill, bumpers, headlights, corner lights, AC kits, like everyone. We get a lot of GTRs that are missing AC stuff. I can then sell this AC to a customer who wants AC. It's it's awesome. I, I love part out cars. Um, what I'm planning, and this is for the boys who make it to the end of the video. If you make it to the end of the video, put it in the comments because everyone else won't have any idea what you're talking, what I'm talking about, what you're talking about. I want to plan a series where I have a budget to buy one car. It's a pretty good budget, 15 grand or something, 20 grand maybe and just within parts from the shop that I own, not just like parts that we have to build GTRs, because that's cheating, but parts that I own, I'd like to build one gangster car without buying a single part for the car. So my budget only consists of enough money to buy a roller, a shell, a car, whatever it is, and I can't use any of that budget to buy any parts. So I wanna go over the cars I bought as parts cars recently. You got that one. We got the TH1, which I love this car. I'm so upset that it's rusted, but it has Brembo's and V-Spec wheels, beautiful GTR front end, beautiful doors, trunk and hood, hood uh, trunk lip. It's got the hood lip. So it's got quite a bit of the, of the uh, Nismo pieces. That one's not in the best shape, but whatever. Not the Nismo skirt. Has a beautiful interior minus, I think it has a dash bubble. Yeah, it's got a pretty good dash bubble. It came with Nismo triple meters, white face, which are fucking awesome. Like, I love this car. This was a part out car. Uh, I got the one you guys just saw them pick up. And then I got this hoopty over here. This one's kind of cool. Little hurt, looks a little rough. Actually, not that bad to bring back. Has RE30s, has Brembo's. Has a weird carbon Kevlar bumper support that I've never seen. Um, it's got some intercooler piping and some other things, but this car, I paid a little too much for it, but I can get the money back out. Um, pretty good interior. This one's not bad. Seat's a little fucked, but I've got plenty of seats. So I've got three, three parts GTRs right now and uh, a plethora of other parts inside. Um, so... I think I really want to do that series. I'd like to do it with somebody. I'd like to have like a little challenge. Like the only other person who's a parts player like me is like Trevor from Motion Auto. He could probably also do this, like a build off without leaving your shop. We got a $20,000 budget. Put in the comments if you'd be interested in that series, whether it's a Trevor or, or no one. I just think it'd be fun and I want to do it because I'm a parts boy. And like I want to flex the fact that I'm a parts boy, I'm a hoarder. The other day, we had a beautiful situation. 
Back in the day, if you remember, I got the Evo 9. We swapped the clutch, we put a twin disc in it, gave it to Ben. We pulled the flywheel out. We wanted to do a clutch in the Rally Evo. We bought a clutch and it needed an Evo 8 flywheel. I kept the one from Ben's car. Clinton went in the trailer, rummaged through some shit, found it, we were able to put the car together. That's why I'm a parts boy. Shit like that. So anyway, I'm not gonna be parting these out yet. Um, so if you are interested in stuff, just sit tight. But uh, soon, soon we will do a little part out. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna end the video there. We got a pretty cool one for you for probably Saturday or Sunday where Josh is putting a car together that should be done this weekend. And uh, we got some good shots. We're just testing, testing new things, you know, trying to get the videos right where I want them. And all while running a shop and doing other things behind the scenes. I've been really slow with uploading, but I promise we're coming back. See you guys next time.